Okay, this time Kyle and player one playing the twins versus oh, Luis right. in the top right playing Emmerich. And Emmerich doesn't heal this time. Yes. Yep. Because that's really important so that you can get the turn two thief off. Yeah, I think. And, well, Emmerich will have options to heal later on. Yep. And not really lose from, like, not going anywhere. So on this turn, I believe you'll actually see um, em the sword will move forward, capture the village, and then Emmerich will heal off the newly... Oh, actually he doesn't. He goes for something else. Yeah. But that well, was I an guess... option if you wanted early healing. Yeah, well, I guess this way, like, you get all the village captures and then you can heal as soon as he gets to, like, a combat situation. But now we have Carlyle yeah, going center and threatening. Yeah, I've seen both players capturing this, like, middle village uh, quite early. Well, as player one. And uh, it's a bit dangerous because, like, that one is exposed to giving your opponent groove or being stolen by a thief. And... Preventing that can be very difficult. I actually think that on this map, um, you can't be constantly trying to play around the opponent's threat of a thief, because the thief can go either side, especially if they have balloon support. And uh, at some point, you just have to stop caring about it. You just have to go for the captures, get what value you can, and then Try to get your own value off your own thieves, because it's not about defending. It's, you have to have the attacking mindset on this one. And I guess like the more pressure you put on their HQ, the less they're able to dedicate to their own attack. Right, and like if you if you are attacking one side of the map and the opponent's attacking the other, you'll be probably around equal, unless uh, there are other factors in the position I play. Emmerich here is just holding Groove. He isn't going to put it down yet. Yeah, you want to wait a little bit for your units to arrive before you Groove. Oh, oh well, oh, it I'll is an some. option, because Emmerich itself will benefit from the crystal, even if no units are around it. So Kalal has a really solid position around his stronghold right now. Emric won't be able to push into it even with Groove. So we're actually going to see him back off a little bit here and uh, maybe transition to the top side instead. Uh, oh, that's a really I unfortunate... Think was the right call there. Yeah, that's a really unfortunate role in that village though. Like, True. The yeah, Emric definitely low rolled that village. Um, I mean... It's a coin flip, you you know what you're getting into if you go for it, so I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's also true. Oh, but oh, he gets a night crit. Lewis gets a night crit on the That's really nice for Lewis. Yeah, that gives yeah. him a lot more like build power now. Uh, the yeah, twins have also, groove. So. Like, that thief was worth um, 1,000 gold. So, like, because it's value 400 and has 300, 600 gold differential. And now Emmerich just has a really nice position. He took a knight. Ooh, wait, hold on a sec. Interesting. Yep, putting the crystal down to make sure that the dragon doesn't take too much damage. Yeah. Okay. So he, the fire spot that he used that, uh, Kalal used here is kind of interesting. He actually fires like this tile in the middle sort of of the map. Oh, and sacrifices a mage. Well, I guess it's worthwhile if you're killing a harpy, maybe. I guess he does have a lot of ant ear on the map, and there's only one witch. So oh, a mage remained in the balloon, actually. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Wow, he has a lot of ant ear then. I feel like this fire is actually uh, sort of hurting... hurting Kalel more than it helps him, because 
prevents him from using all this terrain to attack. Uh, yeah, maybe... he has to move around it and he has to either like not go through with the attack or he has to really commit very hard and push past the fire. Right, yeah. So, and what usually could you be... want to put your opponent in that position that has twins, not yeah, like, be definitely. in it yourself. He does um, have he... a lot of the income though on the map. Like, he it's true. A pretty he, big he, village. It's like there. really far ahead in terms of. Uh, but he does then again, control, like both sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's up four hundred gold by my count. Oh no, he's actually up five hundred income. And he's just continuing to grow that as well. Like he's locked down those well, two villages yeah. in the center. Yeah, yeah. Crystal goes down to fire, which I mean, Crystal hasn't done much yet, I guess. But, I mean, saved a little bit of HP on the dragon, but that's about it. So. Yeah, definitely feel like that was a bit of a waste of a crystal, uh, from Emric maybe, but. Then again, Emric does have fast charge, so he can get another one in pretty quickly. Alright. Louis focusing a little bit more on the lower side. Yep. I guess he's thinking he can come back in time to defend if Kalel goes for the HQ. Oh, and Louis, he's being really aggressive here. Knocks that village down, just gonna push forward with his dragon as well. I'm not so sure about uh, that dragon play right there. Seems a bit... Uh, seems that like you're giving up a lot for not a lot in return, but then again, maybe his feeling is that he's so behind that he just has to try something here. But yeah. uh... Oh, I think we're gonna see oh, suicides. Are we, is he going for lethal? I think he's going for lethal. Does he have double witch hex is the question. One yes, triple hex. witch hex, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's definitely... That's I definitely don't fun. think one of them reaches. Oh, yeah, you're right. That doesn't so really matter. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I mean, he does the triple for the sake of it, but... <laughs> yeah. I guess that was kal like, long-term strategy. He was just going to use witches to zone out Emric. And then Emric wouldn't be able to get close to use his groove on the offensive. Yeah, I mean, Witch Hex is one of the few things that bypass Emric Crystal, so... Yep. Yeah, that is true. And you hit I mean... stuff like Archers and other like indirects as well, so... <laughs> <laughs> you just had like a lot of options to damage Emric. So yeah, like Emric, he really just, he pushed forward in what seems like kind of a desperate move. Yeah. I guess like he just felt the pressure of not really having a lot of the map. And Carlo just kind of right. punished him for the moment he overstepped. I think a lot of that was uh, in terms of Lewis's builds. Because if you noticed, uh, Lewis went for a lot of pikes uh, as Emmerich. And uh, usually that's something, you know, it's pretty good. It used to be really good in 1.0, but I feel like um, it gives up a lot in terms of tempo. Because the pikes are slow and they're also not as cost efficient as they used to be. So that's probably how Kalel was able to get control of so much of the map. Yeah, it's also the fact that it's a single racks uh, map, so building spears is like a heavy commitment because you need to, uh, well, you need to have like two or three before they are, like they really shine and like right. they're mainstream, yeah. which is like being these big groups that you can't really attack into. But right. like that's that takes a very long time before it's effective. De definitely. And we did see that um, Kalel pulled ahead on unit count there by, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, Kalel pulled ahead on unit count by building more air units. Uh, had a bunch of witches, balloon, harpy, 
uh, Dragon and Lewis comparatively did not go for these builds as much, which is why he slowly fell behind in unit count. Well, well played to both players. They uh, yeah, definitely, tie this yeah. week. So they're going to go into next week with... Uh, I, think five, I think they're both going to go into next week with five points. So we're going to have to uh, pull a more like, I guess, like a cleaner victory. This, I see what people say, though, when they say this map is very, like... You need to know everything about like both players because you can just get crushed if you uh, don't know how to play player two because they seem very very different uh, depending on which side you're on. Right. Yeah. I mean, in my opinion. Well, from my testing, I prefer player two actually, but like it really depends on how how like what you find during your preparation, I 